Respiratory Distress Syndrome RDS, is a critical neonatal condition that demands our attention. This presentation delves into the causes, symptoms, treatment, and preventive measures associated with RDS, shedding light on this significant issue that affects premature infants. RDS is a lung disorder that primarily affects premature babies. The root cause of RDS lies in the inadequate production of surfactant, a vital substance that prevents the collapse of the lungs. Surfactant plays a crucial role in maintaining lung expansion and facilitating efficient gas exchange. Premature birth is a major risk factor for RDS. Babies born before their lungs have fully developed are at a higher risk of experiencing respiratory distress. Additionally, factors such as maternal diabetes, C-section delivery, and male gender can also contribute to the likelihood of RDS. Clinical presentation of RDS includes rapid and labored breathing. Babies might exhibit signs like nasal flaring, grunting, and retractions. In severe cases, the baby's skin might turn bluish, indicating cyanosis, which is a critical sign of oxygen deprivation. Diagnosing RDS involves a combination of clinical assessment, blood gas analysis, and chest x-rays. These evaluations help healthcare professionals determine the severity of the condition and formulate an appropriate treatment plan. Monitoring oxygen levels and lung function is also a crucial aspect of the diagnosis. The treatment of RDS involves several approaches aimed at supporting the baby's respiratory function. Surfactant replacement therapy entails directly administering surfactant to the lungs to facilitate proper expansion. Mechanical ventilation provides breathing support, while oxygen therapy ensures that the baby's oxygen levels remain within a safe range. Complications of RDS can include a heightened risk of infections, lung damage, and bleeding in the lungs. Some infants might experience long-term respiratory and developmental issues that necessitate ongoing care and attention. Preventing RDS involves prenatal care measures such as closely monitoring and managing risk factors, administering corticosteroids to promote lung maturation, and delaying delivery if feasible. Such strategies can significantly reduce the chances of RDS occurrence. In cases where RDS is diagnosed, babies often require admission to the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit NICU. Here, they receive specialized care, close monitoring, and respiratory support tailored to their specific needs. Caring for a baby with RDS can take an emotional toll on parents. The challenges, uncertainties, and complex medical interventions can be overwhelming. Providing parents with accurate information, counseling, and involving them in care decisions can alleviate the emotional burden. The prognosis for babies with RDS largely depends on early diagnosis and intervention. Advances in medical care have significantly improved survival rates and outcomes for these infants. With timely medical attention, dedicated care, and preventive measures, we can strive for better outcomes and healthier futures for babies affected by respiratory distress syndrome.